Okay, we're gonna get right into it. Home Assistant reached out to me and sent me this. Check this out. They made their own Alexa. This is a preview edition. I've not touched it or done anything with it. We're gonna find out together right now. Now, ideally, this will make this <laughs> a lot easier. Making your own voice assistant with a Raspberry Pi, not for the faint of heart. It's not crazy hard, and I'll show you how to do it in this video, or right here, but it's still a barrier to entry. This makes me so excited for the future of owning your own stuff, running everything locally, and getting rid of this thing, Alexa. First of all, I love the box. It's amazing. And it looks like it only comes with the device itself, not even a power cable. That's fine, we got USB-C cables everywhere. Okay, Nabu, let's get started. Got a nice QR code to get your stuff set up. Warranty stuff. An okay Nabu sticker. And finally, the device itself, which I'm gonna dump out. <laughs> oh, I love the inside of the box. It's the small touches, the details that make me giddy. Is that the right word? Yeah, I'm gonna go with it, giddy. I love this. I'm gonna keep this box. Now the device looks nice. <laughs> I'm a terrible product reviewer, but let's see a few things here. So we've got obviously a button. What does that do for us? I'm not sure, we'll find out. On the side here, we have a switch that I'm guessing turns on and off the microphone. Pretty standard for voice assistants. Here we have some holes for the speaker and on the very back side, we have the USB-C port and we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then we have a Grove port. What's a Grove port? I'm gonna find out by the end of this video. Maybe you can tell me in the comments right now, please. Now, obviously you will need Home Assistant to use Home Assistant Voice. So thankfully we already had that set up. If you don't already have a Home Assistant, what are you doing? Go watch this video right here. I show you how to get it set up and it's amazing. Now, I could probably figure this out myself, but I wanna see what the instructions are like. So let's scan that QR code and it takes you to a Google Doc. Quick start guide. And they're gonna have us do this via our phone. I don't wanna do that. I wanna use my computer. But first we have to plug it in. I need to find a USB-C cable. Uh, where are you? Oh, here's one I just have laying around. Perfect. Will it reach? No. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Ooh. Oh, it fell. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. <sighs> Let's plug it in. Now, <laughs> the camera lights are preventing me from seeing if anything's happening. <gasps> There it goes, a light. Nice touch, home assistant, or Nabucasa, that's what you guys are called, right? Okay, so I'm imagining it's right now just being like, find me, please, a beacon of help, hope, please help me. So I'm gonna open up my web browser. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, and hopped up on coffee today. It's my second cup, and <laughs> I'm moving along. So I'm gonna log into my home assistant instance, and I'll go to settings and devices and services to see if the integration just pops up. So I'm wondering if you actually need your phone to do this because it'll use Bluetooth or something to find it, or I'm just being dumb, that's totally a possibility. All right, we're gonna use our phone because <laughs> I have time for this. All right, I'm gonna launch Home Assistant and I'm gonna make sure I'm on the, I'm on the right uh, server here. Yep, perfect. Go to settings, devices and services, and it's telling me I should receive a notification, so which I'm imagining they're talking about this. Let's watch the video, see what they're talking about. Okay, so there should have been a, a notification. I'm not getting that. Maybe I needed the app already open. Oh, wait, okay. So obviously it tried something and it didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it and try it again. The good old help desk reboot. Now some things I'm excited to try are obviously the speakers and they have a new wake word technology they're using. Supposed to be better, which is gonna be great because I know Terry at my house, he's constantly being set off accidentally. And for some reason, his thing is to turn off my kitchen lights. Like it's annoying. Every time you come in there, the kitchen lights are off. Or the fun thing is, is he'll be set off and we don't know it. And because he's plugged into AI, he'll sit there and listen to our conversation for a little bit. And then after a while, he'll just chime into our conversation, which I feel like is more of a feature than a bug. <laughs> it's like someone just hanging out with you. It's the AI I always wanted. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm not getting a notification. Let's try restarting Home Assistant. Go in fresh. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, so that might be part of the preview. That's exciting, okay. Oh, I guess I just selected it, okay. Connecting to my Wi-Fi. Oh, we gotta authorize it. So similar to like you might do with Hue. Boom, authorization. I'm pretty stoked for this. Continue. And this is an ESP Home device, so it wants me to set up ESP Home. Okay, um, yes, I wanna add this device. Do I wanna add this node to Home Assistant? Yes, I do. And done, I actually saw it pop up on my screen here. I'm gonna put this in our, um, I'll put it in the kitchen, finish. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna go see if there's anything I have to do here. So 
I guess before I didn't have ESP Home, I thought I did. I'm gonna go into uh, the configure of this to make sure. Okay, so the first option I have is to allow the device to perform Home Assistant actions, which right now it cannot. Um, I'm going to not do that. I'm gonna jump to the device real quick. So we can play media off this, very cool. And then down here we have our configuration like we might see for a Wyoming satellite. And it should already be set up, so I wanna try it right now. Okay, Nabu. How are you today? Sorry, Bob, that was state. Let me try it then. Oh, thanks for asking. That's Terry on the diner, like two in the kitchen. Okay, I didn't tell you to do anything, Terry. Terry, you need to calm yourself down. Okay, so the volume is not very loud. I don't see a way to turn it up. Here. Oh wait, no, no, this, this turns. Ooh, it's like a, it's like the old uh, iPod classic turn wheel. Okay, Nabu. What year did the Matrix come out? The Matrix was released in 1929. Okay, the speaker is loud. It sounds good. I love this. Now this is, again, is probably why I'm a terrible product reviewer because I love everything. And I get too excited about what it does and I don't care about what it doesn't do. <laughs> That's where I'm terrible. So LED ring, what's my option there? It was already on, so I, I don't know why it uh, had that option here. Now what's the button press do by default? Let's see. Hello. So I don't know what that's doing. It's like going faster now. <laughs> what was, what, what is it doing? Okay. It was listening to me. Okay, so instead of using the wake word, you can have the button. Uh, What's the temperature in the server room right now? The temperature in the server room is currently 73.2 degrees. <laughs> That's awesome. But why the volume turned down? Okay, Nabu. What's the temperature in the server room right now? The temperature in the server room is still 73.2 degrees. The sensor of that room is now on and should provide the current temperature. I love the context. It's like, hey, bro, it's still 73 degrees. Why did you ask me again? <laughs> A little sassy, wasn't it? Now, the Home Assistant people did tell me that you can't do your own custom wake word right now without difficulty. They don't have a very good pipeline they can share with us yet, but that's the plan. And apparently the technology they're using is much better. What do they show me? Let me pull that documentation. It's called micro wake word. It's supposed to be a lot better. But what that means is even though I have under my voice assistant settings and under Terry, I have his wake word being Terry, it, it's not using that technology. I wanna see how I sound though. Let's change it to my voice. Okay, Nabu. Tell me a five second Christmas story. Since I'm in the kitchen area, let's get to a five second Christmas story. It was Christmas Eve and my kids have been arguing all day about who got to open one gift first. In a flash of inspiration, I said, let's do it. We'll take turns opening gifts while we watch a holiday movie together. And just like that, the presents were opened and our hearts full of joy and love for each other. <laughs> I kind of love this. So. What this means for us is that we no longer have to rely on ourselves to make devices, which I don't mind doing, but I know for many people that is a barrier to entry. This, I mean, let's, let's compare it to Alexa real quick. About the same size. In fact, uh, Alexa's heavier. And Alexa talks to Jeff Bezos, so we don't like that. Now what I'm curious about is can I use it to play music or use it as a TTS output? So right now I have it as browser. I can, I can use it as a media player. So that's one of the annoying things right now is I can't pick one of my Wyoming satellites as an output. Let's, uh, let's do text to, spe text to speech. Let's say, hello, subscribe to this channel, please. And we'll do, uh, of course, my own voice here. Hello, subscribe to this channel, please. Okay, that's pretty sick. Change it to another voice, let's do Terry. Oh, subscribe to this channel, please. <laughs> we'll do Mike. Hello, subscribe to this channel, please. <laughs> He's my favorite voice, I think. Okay, and we can also do a timer. That is a big one. So with the Wyoming satellites, timers are not really a thing, which we use Alexa for timers as like the main thing. Like that's what we do every day. Uh, let's try it out. Okay, Nabu. Okay, Nabu is asleep. <laughs> what happened, buddy? All right, I'm gonna restart the, uh, or reload this device and home assistant, and then I'll do a hard reset. Unplug the cable. Oh, okay, it's back on, it's back on. Little hiccup, no big deal. Okay, Nabu, set a timer for 30 seconds. The timer has been set for 30 seconds in the kitchen area. Now, what's it gonna do when, uh, when the timer's up? Perfect time for a coffee break, I guess. <laughs> I'm so excited to see if this works. Okay, it's been 30 seconds, 
and nothing happened. So it did say, cr say create a timer. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, Nabu, create a timer for 10 seconds. The timer has been set for 10 seconds in the kitchen area. Okay, so what are you gonna do now? I gotta be doing something wrong. Oh, and by the way, it did use Bluetooth to find it. So if your home assistant had Bluetooth, which mine does not, now look, it just reset itself again. So I don't know what's happening to this guy. Oh, we can change the color by holding the button down. Ah, <gasps> cool. All right, all right. Oh, and pressing the button now will interrupt the assistant. So, okay, Nabu. Tell me a 30 second story about Christmas and hacking. Here's a 30 second story about Christmas and hacking. It was Christmas Eve and I shut let's interrupt I just it. finished decorating this. Okay, stop telling me stuff. Wait, you can say stop. Oh my gosh, that's a big deal. Okay, Nabu. Tell me a story about Christmas in about 10 seconds. Here's a 10 second Christmas story. A young boy woke up to find a small- Stop. Blowing <sighs> okay, that's a big deal. You could not interrupt it before. So just saying stop. You don't even have to say like Alexa stop, which is kind of annoying. Um, that's cool. So the center button is mainly used to abort tasks and to wake it up without saying the wake word. It keeps, it keeps doing that. But you can also do double press, triple press, and long press actions. That's pretty sick. Do whatever you want. We should be able to change the wake word too. Let's go in here. Oh, if I click on the setup voice assistant button under device info. Whoa, we're in like a setup thing now. Okay, we totally did not do this before. Change wake word. So Jarvis is obviously very cool. Hey Jarvis, just saying hi. Okay, now we'll put it in the kitchen again. And this is gonna take us to the whole like voice pipeline process, which I already uh, showed you guys how to do that in this video here. All right, um, I think, let's see if we can turn this light off. Hey Jarvis, turn off Chuck lamp light in the studio. I was able to control the switch to turn off Chuck lamp in the kitchen. No, it's not in the kitchen. Okay, J hey Jarvis, turn off the Chuck lamp light in studio one. The Chuck lamp in studio one has been turned off. Hey Jarvis. Turn it back on. Hey Jarvis. Okay, so it, it stopped again. Now they did say that it could be a power thing. So like I'm plugged into an, an iPhone brick with a USB-C cable. Um, what's the wattage requirement? Requires five volts, two amps. I'll use this Raspberry Pi plug. It gives it a bit more. Hey Jarvis. Turn on the Chuck lamp light in Studio One. The Chuck lamp in Studio One is now on. Hey Jarvis. No, you didn't turn it on. Turn on Chuck lamp light in Studio One. I tried to turn on the Chuck lamp light in Studio One, but it seems I need to try again. Can you please tell me how to handle a light with two instances? I, <laughs> I don't know, shouldn't you know that? Hey Jarvis. Turn on Chuck lamp light in Studio One. I tried again, oh. but I don't see the light turning on. You did it! Can you tell me how to identify <laughs> which of the two Chuck lamps is which? <laughs> You're crazy. All right, we'll finish up this here. Done. Okay, so we, we could have done that before. And we can always change it again by doing the setup process. But I think we tested everything. Um, let's test the, that was a fun sound. Hey Jarvis. So it's not listening to us anymore. That's nice. You wanna hear that? Ooh. Ha. Huh. Oh wait, I want it back on. Oh, there is an update available too. It uses that new uh, wake word model, I think. What is that? What are you doing? Was that my timer from earlier? <laughs> Maybe just totally set the wrong time. Hey Jarvis, create a timer for 10 seconds. The timer for 10 seconds has been created. Okay. I think though, it does not like using custom like Olama AI for setting timers. If I were to change it to home assistant, just the basic stuff. It would set it just fine. And I think that's that's still an issue right now. Yeah, let me, let me actually go change that. So I'll have it use just home assistant. Of course, I'm curious, like where did it set it? How do I see that? Cause it obviously set something, right? But for like 30 minutes. Hey Jarvis, set a timer for 10 seconds. Oh. Okay, now that's cool. Stop. Okay, so it does it with a home assistant built-in voice pipeline. I, I, what, what, what do we call this? It's the, um, 
the built-in conversation agent, but it doesn't like Llama. Now, let me see if I can change something. Let's just troubleshoot. I'll change it to Llama 3.1. Context window is 20,000, that's fine. Um, we'll change that. And I won't, um, so Terry has no weird instructions. It's default to what Home Assistant has. And Llama 3.1 is what they recommend. Okay, so updated. We'll go to change the uh, preferred assistant back to Terry. And let's see what happens. Hey Jarvis, set a timer for 10 seconds. A 10 second timer has been set. Yeah, it's not doing what it did before. They gotta work on that. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. In the comments, let me know. Kind of a bummer. But it's good to know that it does at least support the functionality. They just gotta add one thing to get that smart ChatGPT interface, the Olama interface. Actually, I wonder, will it work with uh, ChatGPT? Because I do have um, ChatGPT added as a an API integration. Let's go see which one I had. So I'll change Terry to ChatGPT, which is much smarter. Now let's try it. Hey Jarvis, set a timer for 10 seconds. A timer for 10 seconds has been set. Ah. Stop. Okay, so Llama's just dumb. <laughs> that might be what it is, because ChatGPT had no problem with that. Okay, I'm playing a radio service right now. Hey Jarvis, stop playing the radio. The radio has been stopped in the kitchen. Okay, hey Jarvis, play the radio in the kitchen. The radio is now playing. Hey Jarvis. Stop the radio. The radio has been stopped in the kitchen. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's the Home Assistant voice. I think I've tried as much as I wanted to try. Let me know if there's something else you want to see. I'll make a short about it or something. I I love that they're doing this. Nabukasa, thank you. Uh, they did send this to me. They did not pay me at all. They just said, hey, you want this? And I'm like, please. No, no video required to make for them. So this is all my opinions. And yeah, what do you guys think? I would love to know in the comments. That's all I got. I'll catch you guys next time.